Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Siddle Hot Takes. My name is Angelica Fulcini Scruggs, and today I'm joined by Christine. Hi, everyone. I'm Christine Parsons, part of the Siddle team, and I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for joining us. I know you were just recently at a conference. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. I was at ISTE, which is the International Society for Technology and Education Conference. It was in Philadelphia this year, and uh, it was as as if anybody's been there before, you know, it's just an amazing conference. There's so much information and so much to see and do and learn. Um, you, you can't, one person can't handle everything at that conference. You really need to bring a team uh, if you want to see everything involved. But I saw a lot of things that I, that I thought we could share with um, some of our viewers. And mm. the, I think the biggest topic in everybody's mind right now is artificial intelligence and AI. And yes, indeed, uh, ISTE did not disappoint. There was a number of topics on the future of AI and what it looks like and where it's going. There were a couple of things that were very interesting. And if you're if you're an ISTE member, you can go in to the um, sign up for the virtual program to find out more information on all of these programs. But I think that the biggest takeaway that I had is that AI is here. It's here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And we really need to get on board and start learning about how we can use it and what we can do. You know, I heard an interesting comment um, that somebody said that the our children that are en en entering kindergarten right now, when they're in high school, imagine where AI is going to be. And they're they're already entering kindergarten. And and we need to be ready for those students when they get here. It's not that far away. So if you haven't thought about looking into AI, or you think that it's just a fad or, or that you're not interested, I highly disagree. Please start thinking about it and reading about it and finding out more. Such a great um, point. Yes. So some of the things that easy ways to get into it is just to sign up for ChatGPT and start using it um, in your everyday life. Honestly, since I've started, I've I've used it almost every day. And even at home, we started using it. I was looking for a healthy recipe mm -hmm. the other day and I needed something quick. So I went into ChatGPT and said, I need a healthy recipe that for, you know, it you can even give it the ingredients that you have and it'll give you a recipe. And so I made that for dinner one night. It was great. That's great. Um, as far as education goes, what I learned at ISTE is that there's still a lot to learn but there's a number of sites that are already using AI that many people are familiar with. Padlet is using AI, mm -hmm. Nearpod, Curapod is amazing. I actually went into Curapod and created a whole lesson on a project that we're doing here. We wanted to do a professional development program. So I just went into Curapod, typed in, I want professional development on such and such. And it created a 20 slide presentation with pictures, questions, um, breaks for the lesson. It was amazing in, in five minutes. So I highly recommend everyone to try to go out there and see what's out there on things that you are already using. Yeah, that's a great recommendation. Uh, something as simple as a recipe, if you're looking for a recipe, is an easy way to start messing around with AI. Uh, so thank you so much for that summary. It sounded like a great conference. It was a great conference. I highly recommend going into the ISTE site to see what's out there. And if you have any questions about artificial intelligence, please reach out to the SIDL team because we're we want to know what the questions are and we want to learn how to answer them. Thank you so much.